hello everyone how to solve this problem for the values of a if we have a square minus 9 divided by a minus 3 is equals to 6 and we solve this problem uh, for all the values of a so here first we find all the roots of this equation and at the last we will be verify that which of the roots are solution and which of the roots are extraneous root further we solve this problem for two methods i hope so you like both of these two methods but if you have any other method in your mind so please don't hesitate to write this method into the comment section and now we move towards our first method and in the first method here first we move this a minus 3 from left hand side to the right hand side and it will be written as a square minus 9 is equals to when we move this to the right hand side it is multiplied by 6 and it will be written as 6 times of a minus 3 and uh, further in the next step here we need more simplifications and it will be written as uh, so we have this is a square minus 9 is equals to here we multiply the 6 on both of these two values and it will become here 6a minus 6 times of 3 becomes here 18 and further in the next step uh, we move all the terms from right hand side to the left hand side and it will be written as uh, a square minus 9 and this is plus 6a becomes here minus 6a this is minus 18 becomes plus 18 and this whole equation is equals to 0 and now here we need a little bit more simplification and here we add or subtract the like terms and we have this is a square minus 6a and this is minus 9 plus 18 uh, becomes here plus 9 and this whole equation is equals to 0 so uh, this equation will becomes into the quadratic form so here we can easily uh, get all the roots of this equation so here uh, you know that there are three methods to solve the quadratic equation the first method is factorization method second one is completing square method and the third one is by applying the quadratic formula so here um, we just uh, make the factors of this equation and for this we need to break its middle term so when we break its middle term it will be written as this is a square we break this 6a as minus 3a and minus 3a this will be written as minus 6a and plus 9 this whole equation is equals to 0 and now here in the next step uh, we need more simplifications and it will be written as here we need to take common a from uh, first two terms and when we take common a we get the remaining values are from here we get a minus from here we get 3 and when we take common minus 3 from here we get the remaining values are a minus 3 and this whole equation is equals to 0. And now here in the next step we need uh, to take common a minus 3 from here and when we take common a minus 3 we get the remaining values are a minus 3 and this whole equation is equals to 0. So here we divide this equation into the two cases and it will be written as a minus 3 equals to 0 and a minus 3 is equals to 0. So from both of these two cases we will get here the same value of a that is 3 it means that here we get these are the uh, two repeated roots of the given equation and these roots are 3. So in the first method we get these uh, two repeated roots uh, but here in the next step we need to verify that is this is this root be the solution or is this root be the extraneous root of the given equation. So for verification of this root we need to copy down given question statement here and the given question statement is a square minus 9 divided by a minus 3 is equals to 6. So here we substitute the value of a is equals to 3 into the left hand side and we check its behavior and we check that is this uh, be the solution or extraneous root. So when you put it here it will becomes uh, this will be written as 3 square minus 9 divided by 3 minus 3 is equals to 6 and you clearly see here uh, this 3 square becomes 9 minus 9 divided by 3 minus 3 is equals to 6 and uh, this implies that this 9 minus 9 becomes here 0 and 3 minus 3 is also becomes here 0 is equals to 6 so here uh, we need to discuss this case and uh, now you see here 
आवर लेफ्ट हैंड साइड बी द जीरो आवर जीरो फॉर्म सो इन अदर वर्ड्स वी जस्ट कॉल दैट जीरो आवर जीरो फॉर्म इज यूजली कॉल दैट इट इज द इनडिटर्मिनेट फॉर्म और इन अदर वर्ड्स वी से दैट जीरो आवर जीरो फॉर्म बी द अनडिफाइंड फॉर्म सो इफ आवर लेफ्ट हैंड साइड इज अनडिफाइंड सो इट्स मीन दैट दिस इज नॉट इक्वल्स टू सिक्स सो इफ दिस इज नॉट इक्वल्स टू सिक्स वी कंक्लूड अबाउट ए इक्वल्स टू थ्री इज दैट ए इक्वल्स टू थ्री बी द एक्सट्रेनियस रूट ऑफ द गिवन इक्वेजन ओके सो ऑल्सो यू सी हेयर वी कैन नॉट गेट एनी अदर वैल्यू ऑफ ए विच इज सेटिसफाइड आवर गिवन क्वेश्चन स्टेटमेंट सो so uh, this means that this question has uh, no solution okay this question has uh, no solution because we cannot get any value of a which is satisfied our given question statement so this is the final conclusion about the solution set of this problem from method number 1 and now here we again solve this problem from a second method and in second method uh, first we need to copy down given question statement here so that our given question statement is a square minus 9 divided by a minus 3 is equals to 6 so this is the our uh, given question statement uh, and in this method uh, in the second method our second method be the very quickest method and here we quickly get the values of a i hope so you also like this method but uh, here um, we first rewrite this equation as this is uh, a square uh, minus 9 and we write this 9 as 3 square and it is divided by a minus 3 is equals to 6 Here we use this nice algebraic formula. You know about that. If we have x square minus y square is equals to x minus y times of x plus y. So here we apply this algebraic formula to the numerator uh, term. Okay. So we apply this on only numerator term. And here at uh, this left hand side is written as Uh, this is a minus three times of a plus three divided by a minus three is equals to six. And now you see here this a minus three is cancelled out by this a minus three, and we get the remaining values are a plus three is equals to six. And here uh, we move this three to the right hand side, and it will be written as a is equals to six minus three. And here we clearly get the value of a is equals to plus three. So uh, in the first method, we already verify that this value of a is not satisfied our given question statement. Uh, so we call that a equals to three be the uh, extraneous root of the given equation. Okay, because it does not satisfy. satisfied our given question statement and we cannot get any other value of a which is satisfied our given question statement so this means that uh, this question has no solution in general so this is the our final answer and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos